I don't have any announcements for today's video, so I'm just gonna go right into just your reminder that not to take my opinion of whatever podcast I'm recommending to heart, and that I definitely highly recommend that whatever shows I recommend or don't recommend, depending on how you interpret this series, you should still give them a chance regardless, and then hopefully by next video I'll actually have a template for this section of the beginning. But for now, here's the newest episode of Daryl Recommends Podcast. Recording number 36 of case 229. Investigation into UCO over... Medical malpractice. What? No, they can't be serious. Uh, Dave. Oi, Dave, have I got that right? What? Case 29. We're only doing them for medical malpractice. Is that what it says on the sheet? Well, yeah, but... So that's what we're doing them for then, isn't it? Don't you think that's a little light? Look, Shelley, you're here to organise the case notes, not provide a running commentary, all right? If I had my way, you wouldn't be involved at all with your connection to the case, but as it stands... Half-man, half-synthetic poster boy Robin Yeager has gone missing. Shelley Croft, brought into the case, digs into the notes of Dr. Sophie Bennett and Alice Jones, searching for answers. As Sophie digs deeper into this mystery, a grim tale is revealed, possibly involving murder. Robin Yeager has been dead for over a decade, so how did he end up as the face for Yuko's line of synthetic limbs? Clockwork Bird is a sci-fi horror podcast created by Era Major of Hanging Sloth Studios, asking the question of how far will capitalism go to play as God? Because we as podcast listeners love to hear our fictional podcasts talk about how much we hate capitalism, because we hate capitalism a lot. It's a common theme with a lot of horror podcasts. Yes, Clockwork Bird is a sci-fi horror podcast, and I think it's a really good one. For one thing about it is it's short, which I don't think longer horror podcasts are bad for being longer, because obviously a lot of my favorite shows are definitely a lot longer than 30 episodes, but it manages to make such a nice, small, neat mystery in such a short amount of episodes, and I really enjoy that it does do that. Granted, I think the first half is slow, but once you get to like episode 15 and like things start going down, that's like when the plot gets like really good. And of course, if you're a fan of Spirit Box Radio, you'll hear a bunch of familiar voices as a good portion of the cast is in Spirit Box Radio. And I really like the premise of it. You usually when like I've seen like different like horror podcasts go into like the like the horror of capitalism, it's usually just like kind of general. And I like with with Clockwork Bird, I was about to say Spirit Box Radio, completely different podcast by the same group, but what I like about Clockwork Bird is it's focusing more on just like medical malpractice as like with at least with like systems in America of like how bad healthcare is here, but just like kind of how uh, privatizing healthcare can lead to some really fucked up stuff. And I think that it does a really good like balance of just like the horror and, of just that with its mystery, even though, like I said earlier, that I think the beginning part's a bit slower than the ending part, but the ending part's really, really good. It does a good job at building up the mystery without revealing too much and then being like, boom, out of the way plot twist, which I know is kind of an issue when you're writing a mystery, but you don't want to reveal your like final hand before then when writing a story. And I think Clockwork Bird does a very good job at like keeping you in suspense without going too outlandish into something that doesn't make sense. And you know, like a lot of horror podcasts, a lot of the um, characters in the show are queer. The main character, Sophie, um, Sophie for instance, has her ex-girlfriend Alice Jones, which brings her into on the case to what happened with Robin Yeager and Yuko. I do have to warn you though, as I said earlier, if you're very sensitive to like topics of like medical malpractice, this wouldn't be a show I recommend. It definitely talks a lot about like the misuse of cadavers and like the, I guess like rights of a dead human body and does have some topics of like mentioning like homophobia and transphobia and suicide. However, they, they tend to have individual uh, trigger tags for episodes, so you can always look at those and see like when that comes up. But like, I, I think if you're definitely like sensitive to like anything regarding medical malpractice, then this wouldn't be the show for you. But um, other than that though, it's a very good, well-rounded mystery. 
especially just like with the whole topics of just like like the medical the medical part of like when capitalism goes into um, healthcare when it comes to um, influencing such as the police and like what they can get, what private healthcare companies could get away with in this story. And although it kind of feels dystopian throughout all of Clockwork Bird, it doesn't feel entirely grimdark. And I enjoy that because it does go get very, very heavy the farther into the story you go without being like, this is gloom and bad and sad and it's always going to be this way. And it got me hooked halfway through when it started getting more into just like, like this is a missing persons case, but there's more. And I really like that. And it does a very good job at wrapping the story up in a like nice emotional beat without like leaving everything too loose ended. And I really like it. It's a, it's a very good show and I definitely recommend it if you're looking for a short horror podcast to listen to. I know there's a lot of people who get a bit overwhelmed with shows such as the Magnus Archives and Welcome to Night Vale and Hello from the Hollowoods, which have upwards to 100, 200 episodes and don't really want to get into audio dramas right then and there because it's like, oh, it's so much I have to listen to and catch up on. I'm not going to remember everything. Clockwork Bird, I feel like, is a very good one to start out with because it's only 30 episodes. Episodes are only about 15 to 20 minutes long and it only has like a very small cast of characters. I believe there's only like five or six characters in the whole show that speak. So you got a small cast of members, and the only thing you really have to like kind of memorize if you're like uh, tr have trouble with names and stuff, you don't really have to remember names. It's just kind of the mystery aspects of it. Cause I, my, in my personal listening to it, I was more focused on trying to figure out like the mystery and like what all these clues were leading up to, what happened to Robin Yeager, what happened to the people who were working with Robin Yeager? What was Yuko's whole thing? And like, what about the synthetic limbs? What's so important about all Robin Yeager being mostly synthetic? And also just like the whole mystery murder. I was more focused on that rather than being like, who's this character? Who's this character? Because it's just a small enough cast. So this is a very good beginning podcast if you're trying to get into podcasts. And also if you want just like a small sweet mystery. And yeah, so I hope you guys will give the show a shot. I'm gonna link Hanging Sloth Studios Patreon down below. This isn't the only show they have. They also have Spirit Box Radio and a couple of other new ones that I don't remember at the top of my head at the moment. I'm very sorry about that. But you know, you could find it in their Patreon or on their Twitter or on their Tumblr. And like, like I said in my previous video, if there's any show you recommend for me to listen to, just leave a recommendation below and I will add it onto my list. I'm currently in the middle of one show now, and once I finish that one, I will be doing a recommendation for that. But I also have a list of other ones that I will be doing in the meantime while I'm listening to other shows that I have on my list. My socials will also be linked below, so if you want to give me a follow on there. And that's it. I hope you have a good one. Goodbye.